Greetings. In this video, I'm going to talk about using the Nikon D3100 uh, for night photography, specifically the Milky Way and Milky Way time lapse. Um, you know, I've gotten a lot of questions wondering if you can how how good the kit lenses are and such. And I thought, well, since I use the D3100 to shoot video, uh, I might as well uh, set it up and shoot some night photography and let you guys know. Um, the kit lenses seem to work fine. Uh, here's a here's a image I took using the standard 18 to 50 millimeter f 3.5 to what is it 4.6 uh, uh, kit lens, and you can see it looks looks good. Uh, the Nike the D3100 has great uh, noise reduction, and um, and you can see the, at 3200 ISO, I used a flashlight to light the truck a bit so that you can get some. Uh, a little bit of foreground there. Now, if you want to shoot with time lapse, uh, it doesn't have a built-in intervalometer, and that's the the timer that fires off the camera every 35 seconds or how, whatever interval it is that you're using. Um, so you have to buy one. Now, if you don't want to put a, a huge investment, you want to give it a try before you might might dive in. Go on eBay. You can find uh, intervalometers for this one is fifteen dollars shipped from China. Um, you know, not the the greatest quality, but it works well. It works really well. Um, you know, it, it is chintzy in the construction a little bit. Um, so, and it has some advantages over the other the inter intervalometers built in some of the cameras because you can actually shoot for a longer shutter speed than thirty seconds because the built in intervalometers uh, can only shoot whatever the shutter speed is and you can only go up to 30 seconds and then it's bulb function. Now this just plugs right into the GPS plug uh, on the side of the camera. A few things to note when you're setting up to shoot time lapse. Um, one is you're going to have to set the camera to manual focus and you're going to have to s focus to infinity. Now on the kit lens there's no uh, uh, focus range number so you can't see there's no nothing that says you're focused to infinity so the key is you focus on something that's like a hundred feet away you set the camera to manual and you're good to go you're pretty much set to infinity uh, you might even want to take a little bit of tape like some masking tape uh, and tape it so that you don't accidentally move the focus um, while you're moving the camera around at night second thing is if you're shooting time lapse um, you're going to want to turn off the photo preview uh, function and that is when you take a picture and then on the lcd screen immediately the image pops up uh, i'll go into a little bit more detail why second one you also want to turn off noise reduction um, this will involve going into the menu uh, finding the noise reduction and, set and setting it to off and i will show you how to do that in a moment now, the, uh, the reason why you want to do this, for the, the photo preview, uh, there's two reasons when you're shooting time lapse. One is it, it sucks battery juice down. So you take a picture and then the image pops up. You take another picture and the image pops up. Every time it pops up, that's re using battery power. Um, and you're gonna, it's going to reduce how many photos you can take on, with using one battery. If uh, The other reason you want to turn that off is that when it's at night and you're taking pictures and you're first setting up every time that you take a picture and that comes on you're basically losing your night vision for, or momentarily especially if your eye is right next to the to the viewfinder um, so said so turn that off I, I strongly suggest it now the reason for the noise reduction uh, if you're shooting individual shots you're just going to take a shot you're, um, here and there uh, you're not actually going to take a long series to put together into a time lapse. Uh, you can leave the noise reduction on. In fact, I'd suggest it. It would help eliminate some of that digital noise that you get that, that's speckling, uh, especially in the in the darks, dark black uh, uh, parts of the sky. Now, uh, but for time lapse, the reason you can is that when you shoot a 30 second exposure, the camera goes through an algorithm for 30 seconds uh, processing the image and, and removing the noise. That's the noise reduction portion of it. So you'll take a picture for 30 seconds, the camera has to sit for 30 seconds before you can take the next photo. Um, that's just too long of an interval between shots. You're going to get a really jumpy uh, 
time lapse if you do that. Plus, it takes battery power, and it's just going to eat up a lot of your, uh, your your battery life. So you turn that off. Basically, it allows you to take the picture, and then once the camera writes the image to the card, which is you know takes like a second or so, then the camera's ready to take another picture. Um, and I, I think that's it. Uh, here are a few sequences I shot using the, the D3100 and the, this GP intervalometer. Um, I did not use the kit lens form. I was using the 14 to 24 f 2.8 lens. Um, but you know I could have used uh, the only disadvantage with the kit lens is that I don't get as wide of an angle of view of the sky. So I, I did not decide to use it uh, for actually shooting the time lapse, but you could. Uh, Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope it was very helpful. Um, most of this information uh, would be helpful for any of the Nikon entry-level uh, SLRs. Um, I have some links that I'm posting of some of my other videos here on, that you can click on, or you can go in, down into the description and see some other links to some other videos. Also, um, I'm on Twitter. If, feel free to follow me on Twitter. Please subscribe. Please give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Uh, if you have any suggestions, feedback, uh, appreciated, feel free to leave those in the, in the comments section below. I won't take them personally as long as they're constructive and, and helpful. And thank you very much. I hope this was, uh, you enjoyed the video. Bye.